Today, Gordon Brown, the former Prime Minister, appeared at the Leveson Inquiry, which this week is continuing to focus on the relationship between press and politicians. It was alleged by Rebecca Brooks, the former Sun editor, that Gordon Brown gave his permission for his son's medical details, who suffered from cystic fibrosis and subsequently died, to be published in The Sun. He denied this was the case. Speaking in court, he said... There was no question of us giving permission for this. There was no question of implicit or explicit permission. And I ask you, if any mother or any father was presented with a choice as to whether a four-month-old son's medical condition, uh, your child's medical condition, should be broadcast on the front page of a tabloid newspaper, and you had a choice in this matter, uh, I don't think there's any parent in the land would have made the choice uh, that we are told we made uh, to give explicit uh, permission for that to happen. So there was no question ever of explicit permission. He also criticised the son's reporting of the Afghanistan war and that he personally did not care about the troops in Afghanistan. He had this to say. And when you descend into sensationalism, you actually make it not an issue about honest mistakes or, or matters of judgement, but about evil intentions. And so you can laugh about it now, and I do laugh about it sometimes. If you pick up a newspaper and you find that uh, you've failed to bow at the cenotaph, and then I've recorded, that is an example of how he doesn't care about our troops in Afghanistan. First of all, the story wasn't true, and secondly, that's not the conclusion that should have been drawn. You have then a story before that, uh, that you fell asleep at the Festival of Remembrance. You're actually praying and you're bowing your head. And one newspaper decides, and this was a son, and I, I will name it, decides that this is an example of someone falling asleep and uh, dishonouring the troops. And again, you don't care. The Chancellor, George Osborne, will also give evidence today. And he is likely to be asked about his role in Andy Coulson's appointment as David Cameron's Director of Communications. The Labour leader Ed Miliband, the former Conservative Prime Minister Sir John Major and the Deputy Labour leader Harriet Harman will also all give evidence to the inquiry tomorrow. The Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg and Scotland's First Minister Alex Salmon will appear on Wednesday, while Mr Cameron will be the sole witness again on Thursday. I am Anne Salter, thanks for watching. For the latest news on the Leveson inquiry, follow me on our website at ibtimes.co.uk.